Hey guys, Rolia or Taylor here, and today I'm back with another Division video. And this one is actually a really exciting one, because today we're going to be talking about something that is coming in 1.7, but this isn't global events or commendations. Today we're talking about a new reward. It's going to be called classified gear sets and these classified gear sets are improvements to the current gear sets we have. Classified gear sets will now come with a 5 piece and 6 piece bonus once you have either 5 pieces of the same classified gear or 6 pieces of the same classified gear. You can still mix and match them so for example if you mix two pieces of Lone Star and then two pieces of classified Lone Star, you'll still get that four piece Lone Star bonus. But to get the five and six piece Lone Star classified bonus, you'll need five and six pieces of classified Lone Star gear set. Another really cool thing about these classified gear sets is that any piece of classified gear you obtain will always be better than the ordinary gear set. So for example, again, if the max roll on a piece of normal gear is 1,200 72, then that will be the lowest roll on a classified gear set piece. So within the future, there will be a classified gear set for every current gear set that we have. But the first three that are going to be released with the first global event is going to be Lone Star, Final Measure and Deadeye. The way you can actually get some of these classified gear set pieces is via the global event vendor. And this vendor will have three different caches all tiered. So you'll have, let's say, for example, hard, medium and easy. Obviously, the easy one will require the smallest amount of global event tokens and so on. If you buy the highest one, there's more chance of you getting a classified gear piece. Another really, really cool thing, I keep saying it, but there's so many cool things with classified gear sets. But with this, you're going to be able to roll two of your stats now on a classified gear piece. So for example, you could roll off, let's say it was rolled onto electronics, you could then roll it to firearms, and then you could go down and roll off a major attribute or even a minor attribute. This is really, really cool and something I think they've needed to do for a long time. So I'm so happy this has finally made it to the game. So you're probably watching this video and you're thinking, I want to know what the five and six piece bonus is going to be. So at the moment, it's all a work in progress and we're going to be able to test out a lot of them on the PTS. But one example I'm going to give you now is actually Final Measure and this will be coming with the first global event. So the fourth piece bonus on the current Final Measure is you defuse a grenade when it's thrown at you. But now if you build into all six pieces of classified Final Measure, the bonus is something really, really cool. And when I first heard about this at ETF, my mind was blown. So when a grenade is thrown at you, obviously you defuse it every eight seconds, but this will also apply a buff to you and your team within a certain range and it all depends on what grenade and then that will give you a buff so for example if you defuse a EMP grenade you and your team will receive a skill power buff if you defuse a frag grenade you and your team will receive a damage buff and if you defuse a flash grenade you'll receive an armor buff so that's a lot to take in. Now, because this is technically a state of the game recap, I don't want to go into too much detail on classified gear here because there was a few other little bits that came up in the state of the game. So what I'm going to do tomorrow, we're going to have a big article coming out written by Matt Schotcher, the community manager on classified gear sets in more detail. So we'll have another video tomorrow regarding that. So they're going to be testing out a change to Deadeye 4 piece and that is to get the 100% crit hit chance bonus, you'll now need to be in cover and out of cover, you'll now only get a 60% crit hit chance. So you can still use whatever weapon you want and if that is an SVD you can still spam it like hell but it just means you'll have to plant yourself in cover which I think is a really good move personally. We also have our first insight to the ninja bike messenger bag change. Now it's hard to describe so I'm just going to put a clip of how Keith described it so hopefully you get a better understanding than any other way of me trying to explain it. Keith, so, what does that mean? Imagine if you have you know, three pieces of Alpha Bridge and two pieces of Firecrest and the Ninja Backpack, the Ninja Backpack will slot in and fulfill uh, set requirements to unlock additional bonuses. So you'll have four-piece Alpha Bridge and three-piece Firecrest. So you can get really creative with this. You know, on the PTS version, you can have five different sets and the Ninja Backpack and get five two-set 
bonuses. What? There you go, guys. That sounds absolutely unreal. Hopefully, we'll get some more information tomorrow. And like I already said, I can slot that in with that classified gear sets video. The last thing I want to add is we don't actually have a date for PTS yet, but it is slated that it's still really, really close to release. When it does release, make sure you do test everything. Terry, Keith, and Hamish stressed this a lot. If you find something that's meta in the PTS, they're going to know about it anyway, but make sure you're testing all of these new classified gear sets. Make sure you're testing the new bug fixes. Let's make this PTS one of the best PTS tests we've ever had, and it's only going to prolong the life of the division. If we go into it like another PTS, for example, when we had the Seeker gear set and when we first got hold of the Hilda and Air, it was just a bit, you know, it was just a mess. Everyone was just exploiting the fact that things were broken, and we don't want to be doing that again. So for me as well, let's test this PTS when it launches and let's really give them the best feedback they've had. But guys, that's going to be it for this week's State of the Game recap. Like I said, I'm going to try and have a more detailed video on classified gear tomorrow and I'm going to see if I can pull out anything else that I know of. But until then guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by either leaving a comment below or by clicking that like button. And if you're new around here, then make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with The Division. But as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.